tonight Jamil and I are finally doing a Marie Callender's Redemption video. Yes. Yes, you guys, this is the second time we have had Marie Callender's, or we're going to be eating Marie Callender's. Yep. Because the first time we got like a lot of classic items from the most popular list, but Jamil and I weren't loving it. No. If I do recall, nothing beat like a seven, seven and a half. Yeah. Possibly an eight. I believe the the our favorite, one of the favorites was the tacos, shrimp tacos. Oh, yeah. Which were good, but they actually had missed, I think, like a chipotle sauce. So, yes. you know what I mean? So it wasn't as good as I feel like it could have been, you no, know? it wasn't. But we did our own stuff this time. This yes. time we got, we instead of doing what people's favorites were, we did our own personal choices, you mm -hmm. know? And I have to say, I'm super excited about it. Yeah, we got what we wanted today. Exactly. Guys. And so as you can tell, they're like mm -hmm. sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> sandwiches slash burgers. But that's what we like, okay? Exactly. And I actually think they look really good. We try yeah. to get like a variety of flavors. Mm -hmm. So let's tell you what we got. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll go from there, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, so we'll start with on Jamil's side. Okay. Guys. So this is their breakfast burger. It's actually like their newer item, but it basically has like crispy tater tots. Oh, thank you. It's crispy tater tots on the bottom. Obviously the egg with the aged cheddar cheese, bacon, and of course a fried egg. I got it over medium, the egg. That looks um, good. So it just should have a teeny runny if that. We'll see how they yeah. made it. They look like they did a good job with it, so it actually might be runny. I think yeah. it looks delicious. We'll see. Side of french fries with that, of course. And exactly. then this one is their classic open-faced turkey sandwich. So the Ooh. oven roast and turkey, you got actually um, some stuffing in there with some apparently like a giblet gravy over mm -hmm. this mashed potatoes, and of course some cranberry sauce on top. It's like Thanksgiving. Yes. Pretty much. Yes. You know, without and the stuffing. I think that looks really good. My mouth's actually watering for that. Yeah. And then here, you guys, we have, um, I guess I'll hold up a half. It's basically like their very famous meatloaf sandwich, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's meatloaf, lettuce, tomato, mayo, um, on like a crusted Parmesan bread, mm -hmm. and then a side of coleslaw, their almond coleslaw. Yes. Now, as I remember, last time we did not get their uh, meatloaf, right? So we have no idea how it tastes. Right. Yeah. So I'm curious to see if it's going to be any good because Me too. the meatloaf from, uh, what is it? Um, crate and Barrel. We tried that Cracker one. Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Crate Barrel. <laughs> Cracker Barrel. My bad. We tried that and it wasn't our favorite. So yeah. I'm hoping this one's even better. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So we'll see. Okay, you guys. Also, uh, well, I'll say, I'll mention as we eat it. Um, okay. We'll talk about it. Okay. Cool. So what do you want to start with? Um, I say we start with this side, the breakfast okay. sandwich. Let's go do we'll breakfast We'll do like breakfast, first. lunch, dinner or something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sounds good. This right. might be lunch. And exactly. Then that okay. So we'll start with this. Um, I you want a knife? Cut it. Yeah, actually, maybe we should cut it, huh? Yeah. May as well cut that in half. We have used little, obviously little... Uh, plastic knives. We have plastic knives, and I was going to say little paper towels to prop up oh. our food so you guys can see it a little more. Exactly. Um, but yeah, we're really excited. I think this is going to be good. I think so. I yeah. mean... I mean, how do you mess up a breakfast burger? I don't know. You know what I mean? You yeah. can't quite do that. I don't know. Yeah, so we'll see. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I asked for medium well. What do you think? Is that medium well? Is that well? Um, it's probably well. Yeah, usually when you ask for medium well, you go well, which is fine. Yeah, it's okay though. Um, I mean, you know, we're take, you know, we we took it home, so you know that's kind of how it works, you know. Yeah. So this should be like very comforting yeah. food, I think. We'll see. We'll see how this tastes, but I think it's like everything you want in a sandwich, you know, it or does. a burger. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this breakfast burger. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. It's good. It's a little dry. That's so, what it is. I wonder if, yeah, maybe we should have got medium burger. And then there needs to be some type of like a... Sauce on here. A mayonnaise yeah, or... Yeah, sriracha, sriracha. Like thing. aioli or something. You know, I think would hit, right? Mm -hmm. Like you said, mayo. It's a little dry. <clears throat> you know, even some ketchup would probably be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but it's good. I've noticed that before at other... At some restaurants. Mm -hmm. When they do breakfast sandwiches. Mm hmm they don't put any condiments on there. Mm -mm. And kind of leave it how it is. Mm -hmm. And because of that, 
if it is everything's overcooked like this is, mm -hmm. it just it's super dry mm -hmm. and like really hard to like eat. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason why I should have had to take that many bites. <laughs> Well, what do you think of the flavor? Or the flavor's it, good. Yeah. It tastes just like a bre regular breakfast burger. You know, yeah. it tastes like exactly what you would, ex would expect. Mm -hmm. It is good, but it's it's what you would expect, you know? Look at that. Sorry, do my cover in your eyes oh, really quick? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a teeny tiny runny yolk, so they did make <laughs> it over medium, which is awesome. They did, huh? Oh, yeah, they did. They did. They perfect. That's not bad. Mm -mm. It's not bad. What do you think? I like it. I think it's very comforting. The crispy mm -hmm. tater tots are so good on this thing. For sure. You know, I, I'm a sucker for a fried egg on yeah. a burger. Mm -hmm. I think the bacon's really crispy. Yes, the bacon's very good on here. I think the bun's a little sweet. Like, I actually really love the combo. I just wish it was like a little, like I said, I think a sriracha mayo or aioli mm -hmm. would have been really, really great with this. Or even just a mayo, uh, something. Mm -hmm. Just a little saucy. Uh, yeah. Just a little dry. But other than that, it's good. I would have got this again. Yeah. And mm. the hash browns are good in there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get hash browns and they don't they don't taste great for whatever reason. You mean the tater tots? Oh, is that what it is? This tater tots? Mm -hmm. Oh, they look like hash browns. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense then. Because <laughs> it tastes like tater tots, mm -hmm. you know? They're really good. Really good. I guess we'll rate this one out of ten. Let That's you guys all. know if it's worth actually getting. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Me too. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. One, one two, two, three, three seven, seven and a half. half. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I would have given it for sure an eight and a half with some type of good sauce on there. Yeah. Maybe, maybe even a nine. Yeah, exactly. But it's good. And of course, if you eat anything at the restaurant, it's more fresh, but we take it home. So. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. But as good as that one was, I really can't wait to try this one. Okay, you want to try the snacks? We'll just I do think, dinner yeah. and lunch. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. So okay. I'm going to slide this one out of the way. I know you're excited. Oh, we have dessert too, excited. you guys. So please stick oh, around for dessert. Oh, yes. We got a slice of pie. Yeah, it actually, it's something that we wouldn't normally get, I think, too. No. So. Should we tell the fam? Yeah, let's show them. Oh. I don't know if I should show them because okay. I don't know if it looks that great. It does. It looks good. Okay, fine. It's pretty Which good. It's a basically like... See, it's hard. Oh, I can't even see it. <laughs> but it's a, like a double lemon. Yeah. Cream. I think it's double double lemon. Cream pie. Cream pie. Oh, okay. Um, it's like actually really hefty. It is. Yeah, huh? and it's actually like a real slice pie. Last time they gave us like. Yeah. Remember, it looks nice. all weird. It's all beat up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. All right, should I cut it in half? Um. Well, I think we might have to slice it. Do you Good have point. a knife on your side? I do, actually. Then I give you mine. Uh, I'm not going to knife on my You side. got a knife for two? Okay, yeah. yeah. So I think we might have to, like, carve it because it's the open face uh, roasted turkey sandwich. Yes. Again, it has the stuffing on there mm -hmm. um, and the cranberries. By the way, these butter knives, things are sharp sometimes. This like, is gonna be a crazy bite, to be honest. Oh yeah, good luck. I don't think I'm gonna get any stuffing. Was well, there stuffing in there? There should be stuffing. Oh. I think there's a little. St oh yeah, there is. There is stuffing. Uh, what? I missed it. I thought I didn't hear you say stuffing. On top of the sandwich? Yeah. Oh, listen, you don't listen ever <laughs> when <laughs> listen, I give the description. I heard you say turkey, cranberry, <laughs> bread, and uh, <laughs> um, mashed potatoes. Okay, just. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. This is gonna be all bad. I want to get the cranberry. That's the last piece I have on it. I'll show you how it's done. I have turkey. I have the bread. I got a little bit of stuffing. Yes, it's it's not easy, but. And I need a piece of cranberry. <laughs> oh man, you're right. It's very difficult to get like everything in one bite. Okay, I might have to just go for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I cut my mouth. Did you cut your mouth? I told you oh, it was sharp. Baby, did you cut it? A little bit. Oh, oh I'm good. I'm good. Oh, honey. It's not bad. You're okay? It's that not bad. scared me. I know, because these are kind of like razor. I almost gave myself a Joker smile. Oh, my gosh. I'm good. You're okay? I'm good. Okay, that's scary. That yeah, scared me, too. Okay, <laughs> I don't even know how to do this, too. This is all back. You got it. <laughs> Just don't cut your mouth. I got it. Oh, yeah, I cut the inside for sure. Mm. <laughs> it's good though. It I'm tastes, sorry. yeah. It's very much Thanksgiving. Mm. I mean, this is very, very much Thanksgiving. Ooh, guys. Yeah, and, and and really good Thanksgiving, by the way, too. Yeah. Like that stuffing is on point. Uh huh. It's very on point. You can tell when they were describing the stuffing. It definitely. Yeah. Oh. oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. It's hard to show you with that. You have to like. 
give it a few seconds to focus. Yeah, cover our eyes. But it's very good. Mm -hmm. Are you? Is your mouth okay? I feel like we're in No, I'm fine. Okay, you're not bleeding or anything? No. Okay. Well, if it is, it's on the inside. Okay. Which that fine. sucks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, you know, these things are sharp, but they're not like crazy sharp. But, I love yeah. it. I love the gravy. I love the stuffing. Yeah. So, to me, a lot of times stuffing really is good. what... If you're going to have stuffing, it could either ruin it or it can make it taste really good. Make it or break it. In this case, it really does make it taste very good. It makes it. It reminds me a little bit of stovetop. I mean, that's kind of what I'm getting from I get better, though. You think a little better? A hundred percent. Stovetop's good, though. Yeah, it is. You know? It, mm -hmm. To me, it tastes... Okay, if it does taste... It, it might taste like a better stovetop, but stovetop's good. So, mm. yeah. It's good. Turkey's really warm. Mm-hmm. Pretty tender. Mm-hmm. Mm, I really like this one. So this one, what is, out of the three, if you were just getting one, would this have been your go-to one? The open face one? You know what I'm it saying? It wouldn't have been my go-to, no. Because uh -huh. I know you love turkey. I do. You do. But, but it wouldn't have been that go-to one for mm, you. Though, huh? No. Yeah. I usually don't get like a turkey, like, uh, usually like the oven, like the carved turkey mm, sandwiches. Yeah. Sometimes can be dry. True. But obviously with gravy and this really moist stuffing and the cranberry, like you're not getting dry at all. You're getting super moist. True. Really good. And the mashed potatoes are bomb. They are. Yeah. This is pretty much Thanksgiving. I mean, this is like spot on. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, you could get this at Thanksgiving and, and be good. You yeah. know what I mean? If I ate that during Thanksgiving, I'd be actually really, really happy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's delicious. And this mashed That's potatoes good. is bomb. Yeah. I'm happy with this one. I'm like, so far I'm feeling like we got, we got some good stuff. I agree. I mean, you know, they're sandwiches, so, you know, well, it's always going to be a certain level of, you know what I mean? Even if that it didn't have, oops, I oh, this. No, even no, if no. it didn't have the bread. Yeah. I think I would still like it just as Yeah, good. that's actually a good point. Mm -hmm. All right, one more bite. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give this thing on my final assessment. Per usual. And I like that they put a lot of ham in here, or uh, not ham, but turkey in here, too. They didn't, like, skimp you, you know what I mean? I agree. Yeah, that's one thing I got to say, like... I'm pretty impressed with uh, at least what we've been getting so far. Yeah. They give you a good amount. Good sized portions. Good sized portions, you know? Yeah, totally. Mm. I agree. Delish. I'll get this again. Man. This one's really good. This is up there. Mm-hmm. Mm, you guys. If you haven't it's tried good. this, especially, you gotta try it. especially now that it's fall, yep. this is like a perfect holiday meal. Exactly. Oh, yeah. All right, should we rate it? I like this one a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's rate this one. Let's okay. do this one out of ten. Yeah. I think I'm ready. Me too. One, one two, two, three, three eight nine. and a half. Okay. Yeah, I give another nine too. Hey. I just wanted to make room for my favorite one that's coming up. Because <laughs> if this next one, if this one, next one's really as good as it sounds, yeah. I'm gonna be loving it. I hope this is good. Yeah, I hope so too. Okay. But this one was good. This one was good, but eight and a half and nine. That's what we're giving that for sure. So we'll go ahead and do the final. Sandwich. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Mm. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy they at least cut it in half, so that's nice. Yeah. That makes it easier for us. Okay. So, so me love sandwich with the almond coleslaw. Mm -hmm. I also have to say, you guys were in the comment section last time on how I say coleslaw <laughs> instead of coleslaw. <laughs> I've always said coleslaw. Uh, comment down below if you've always said that, or am I like the lone yeah, ranger? Yeah, you say coleslaw. Or you say coleslaw. I say coleslaw. Yeah, you don't say But coleslaw. I didn't realize that people heard that it's co. <laughs> I always felt like the ol was like, like uh, what's the word? Silent. Silent, anyways. That the L was Yeah, silent. coleslaw, coleslaw, <laughs> coleslaw, coleslaw, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so comment down below if you say coleslaw or if you say coal. That's the good thing about doing a, a channel is you definitely learn when you're saying yeah. the wrong stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you 100% learn that. They're real not clear. afraid to point it out. <laughs> I've just always said coleslaw. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and grab a sandwich, let's and then we got this. yeah, like you said that that coleslaw. Ooh. I want to definitely try that out. This grilled Parmesan bread. Mm -hmm. uh, the meatloaf. Looks really good. Lettuce, tomato, mayo. I've never had like a lettuce, tomato, mayo meatloaf sandwich before. I know, right? So At we'll least, see. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. At least they have uh, mayo on here, right? So yeah. that should make it moister. It should. Which is nice. Okay. Let's try it. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, this is good. 
I'm trying one bite. Yeah, me too. Mmm. Mmm. It's very juicy. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh. You know, I didn't think the the bread would go well with this. Yeah. Because it's like a Parmesan crust. Yep. It just didn't feel like, it didn't sound like it would make sense. But yeah. It, it works really well with this. I think so too. It gives it a little bit of a different vibe. Like, you, I don't look at this as like a um, meatloaf sandwich because of it. You yes. know what I mean? Isn't it? It's just a little different. Giving just like good deli mm -hmm. vibes kind of. Like, you know, hot mm -hmm. deli sandwich vibe. Like, mm -hmm. that's what I'm getting from it. I agree. Very tasty, very juicy. The meatloaf is really, really moist. Mm -hmm. And I actually like the lettuce and tomatoes and the mayo with it. I just think it's good. I gotta be honest, I mm. like the tomatoes with this. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you guys, eat, I don't like tomatoes with um, my sandwiches and stuff because of the pits and stuff. But even with that, sometimes I don't, I don't like the tomatoes, mm. but this, it tastes really good with this. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like coleslaw. I know, me too. Yeah, good idea. Mm -hmm. The, you say coleslaw again? Yeah. Did you say coleslaw? Yeah, um, yes, that's how I say it. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it. It's coal, okay? It's coleslaw. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, Kristen comes up to me. She was like, do you say coleslaw or coleslaw? I'm like, coleslaw? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you don't say co? <laughs> like, no. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. You're picky on your coleslaw. On my coleslaw, yes. <laughs> no, I'm really picky. Mm. And it has a little mustard in there. A little it does. It, it, it which makes it a little different, but you don't like it. I don't like it really at all. I love it. Let me try it on the burger though. Oh, okay. Because I feel like this is how you really know. You know mm. what I mean? No, that's not gonna tell me anything really. To be honest, mm. I am curious to, just to see how it tastes. It definitely has like um. It's a mustard vibe, which is different than I've ever like Dijon. Yeah, Dijon. It's Dijon like spicy. Mm-hmm. A little bit of spicy, like mustard in there. Um, and I don't know what the almond comes from, to be honest. Because it mm. said almond, so I don't know. I don't see any almonds on in, on there or in there. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. <clears throat> but I like it. Mm -hmm. What do you think, babes? That sandwich is just really good. Mm -hmm. It's well done. Mm -hmm. mm. Like to me... This reminds me of like a leftover meatloaf sandwich, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Next day you got it and stuff like that. Yeah. But for whatever reason, honestly, it's just done so well. I love it. I think the bread just kills it. And it wasn't, it wasn't supposed to come on this bread. It was we, supposed to be good on, what we're supposed yeah, to put on a bun, the right? The picture showed a bun, mm -hmm. but yeah, it came on this. So I don't know. Man. Yeah, I said a Parmesan like crusted bun. Yeah. <clears throat> but it's just the bread, but it's oh, good. Oh, so it was always supposed to cut, have the Parmesan in it. Yes, it is. Got okay. you, but it was going to be on a bun versus yeah. some bread. Yes, I thought it was. Yeah. Well, this is sourdough, right? It might be. I think it is because it tastes like a sourdough type of flavor. Mm. You guys, this thing is good. Mm. And the, coast, the, the coleslaw on it, I know, I'm like saying it now. See, Chris is messing me up now. <laughs> now I'm going to be saying coleslaw. Because yeah. I'm not going to lie, it kind of sounds better, coleslaw. It's easier to say. <laughs> is it easier? <laughs> yes. Okay, the coleslaw on there, <laughs> it's not that it, did, it didn't do anything for the sandwich. It uh, didn't like improve it. But, uh -huh. you know, but it, it does blend in well, though. I think it's a great it size. It really well. Yeah, yeah. It is. Very delicious, you guys. And again, like I said, the... Um, Meatloaf yeah. on this one, really moist. Really, really moist. Very comforting. I yeah. could do this in the sandwich, but of course, just on the side, having a meatloaf dinner. Yeah. With the mashed potatoes, which, excuse me, which they offer here. Yeah. That would be really good, too. So. Yeah. You know, I want to say something really quick, too, about Marie Callender. Do it, babe. So, you know, I actually thought this restaurant was going to be, like, really low quality. Mm -hmm. Like, even the first time we got the food, I felt like it was pretty quality. You know, it just wasn't our type of thing. Mm -hmm. But... You know, I feel like in some of the locations, at least where we're at in California, we used to have like Denny's and um, where we were at. It shut down mm. um, and uh, there was there's IHOP. And a lot of times, a lot of those restaurants in those areas went downhill. Mm -hmm. They actually, for whatever reason, the management was bad and stuff. I associated those with Marie Callender. Uh -huh. So I thought Marie Callender did not have good food. Right. Which is part of the reason why we didn't go for so long, yeah. you know? Yeah. At least I, I never wanted to go. Yeah. No, and it's funny you, you know? say that. And a lot of our fam 
didn't even know Marie Callender's had a restaurant. Yeah, they just I know. thought it was just pies. Yeah, like frozen food. Yeah, right? like from the store. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, they do have restaurants. So, which is crazy. See if it's it's near you. But yeah. okay, let's write this and get to that. Uh, right. Lemon, yeah, whatever it is, lemon cream <laughs> pie that looks really good. All right, let's do it. One okay. out of ten. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay. One, One, two, two three, three, nine, nine and a half. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. Awesome. Well, we'll just... It's good. Give it five, even though we didn't agree. Oh, that's true. What are we doing? I'll we'll take that back. <laughs> <laughs> take that back. Anyway. That was very that good. That was the worst thing we've done on camera. What? That was the corniest thing ever. The high five? <laughs> Taking back the high five. Oh, well. I'm glad that, I'm glad that was your idea. That's, it's next to your beatboxing. <laughs> no! <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> you said it. Yeah. But Listen, you like my beat. You don't have to do it. You don't like it? No. No. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's just embarrassing. It makes me look bad. <laughs> it does You know what I mean? I'm the co-signer of you. You should have uh, You should have taught me how to beatbox. <laughs> I don't Dropped remember. Dropped a tomato. You. Oops. I don't remember you being like, Kristen, you need lessons. Well, I can tell you right now, you might need some lessons. <laughs> I need a little work on that. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see it too well because the light's okay. super bright. Yeah, it's super bright. But it's got a little lemon piece on there. It's on look the at, side. Look at all that lemon custard cream. I oh, don't know the on it. top you're talking about? No, in there. Oh, inside of there. Yeah, there's a lot of the filling, you know. Because it's a double lemon. Is it double? That's what oh, it's called. Oh, that's right. It is double. Unless they make it, unless they say double because they put these lemon slices on here, but I hope not. Yeah. Um. So, anyways, obviously, we're not going to eat these lemon slices. Yes, with we are. Lemon, whatever it's called. You know, I watched something. Lemon rind. A TikTok where they were showing the bacteria on lemons when they put it inside of things. Liar. Should I wait? I should probably should have told you. No, here you I'm go. I'm serious. No way. Yes, there is. Okay, well, can we not? Because they, yes, they don't always wash the lemon. It's okay, though. I probably shouldn't have said anything this soon, but it's fine. No, you definitely shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> should have waited until we finished it. Oh, eating. my goodness. It seems washed. I'm, I hope so. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. I right love when he, he likes to jinx things. <laughs> Ooh, this looks really good. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Nice whipped cream on top. Exactly. Lots of lemon, whatever this is, custard? Yeah, sure. Let's call it that. <laughs> oh, here we go. One, two, three. Mm. 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 <laughs> it's good. That's really, you know, they're a lemon. Uh, slices are really good. We got this lemon cream cheese one before. That's the best. Similar to this. It is. Um, but um, and that was delicious. Mm -hmm. And this is really good too. Yeah, they're lemon like tart. <laughs> it is tart. It's um, their filling is very good. And and mm. I've gotten lemon from other places and stuff like that, and it's good. Mm -hmm. But this is actually this is like next level. Mm. I would definitely say that. Mm. There's definitely some of the best lemon. You know, pie essentially that I probably had. I right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should bring this for our family. I think mm -hmm. they'll really like this. They were like this. Um, a lot. what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, you guys, when you have like a savory meal <laughs> yeah. and then you end it with like a delicious, which tastes like homemade <laughs> lemon pie with lots of whipped cream and a delicious crust. Yep. Tell me that there's anything better than that. <laughs> Tell me there's true. something better than that. Because I wouldn't believe you. That's a good point. Mm. So are you saying you love Marie Callender? I do. You really do? I think it's really good food. You think this was a good redemption? Yeah, I okay. think it was very successful. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, I'm I'm actually really happy with what we got. And, mm. <clears throat> you know, the menu has so many different things on there. So it's nice because it has a lot of options for everyone, you know? Uh-huh. For us, we like more sandwiches and breakfast stuff and things like that. So, of course, we got what we wanted. But I'm sure if you had something a variety, you know, something that you wanted, they have a variety of things. So I'm yeah. sure you can find what you want. As too. you know, ton of like, yeah, home cook like comforting meals, but they also have like skillets and yeah, tacos and like things like that. So kind of random, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, very mm -hmm. good, very good quality. And then of course this cheesecake or this pie is delicious. Mm -hmm. It has a cheesecake vibe to it. It's good. Okay, let's rate this. One out of ten. Let's oh, do it. Okay. I'm ready. One, two, two three, three nine. nine. Yep. Okay. Nine. So, I don't think I need to ask, but I'm going to. Okay. Which dish would you recommend to the fam to for sure get uh, when they go to Marine Calendars in the future? Right there. Yeah. I know there's <laughs> not much left. 
I don't even know if you guys can tell. But that's the meatloaf sandwich. That's the okay. meatloaf sandwich. Whatever's left of that. Okay. For sure that. This is like very good. It is really good. You know, it's cool too because let's say you don't want all the bread. I'm sure you can open face it like the turkey one. Yeah. And it's just as good. Yeah, you could. But it's very, very good. It's Delicious. a very good sandwich. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, the Parmesan's good. How about you? What would you... So, although I think I like this a little bit better, oh. I'm going to go with the open face turkey sandwich. You know, this one? I am, because I think that this one is actually like more universal. <laughs> <I'm not sure. laughs> it doesn't even look good. It doesn't look good. If you fast forward through this video, <laughs> you're going to look at that and be like, you recommend that? <laughs> You guys are going to be just, shocked. I just think it's more <laughs> universal in terms of like comfort food. Got you. I think the masses might like this a little bit more than the meatloaf sandwich. Really? Yeah, because some people don't uh, want a meatloaf sandwich. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, they want meatloaf. I just don't know about the sandwich. That's where my suggestion came I out know. as far as open face. But no, I get you. I got you. No, I liked it better. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm just yeah. saying, like, I do think maybe universally people will like that. Because it's more they're more familiar with everything. Yes. They're not always familiar with having lettuce and tomatoes and mayo. Yeah. Like, you know. To be honest, after trying these two things, mm -hmm. and then including, of course, this sandwich, which, you know, we got a little bit left of that, I actually would not recommend this sandwich at all. I wouldn't even recommend this. The breakfast burger. The breakfast uh, burger. Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. Well, mm, sorry about that. It's it's good, but it's nothing It's nothing special, especially for the price. Mm -hmm. I feel like you could just make that at home. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I agree. Come for these two things, you know? Now that we've had these two. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely exactly. can make that at home. It's, I liked it, but yeah. I like these better. So. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys, this is a good little redemption. Oh, I like wow. it. Marie Calendar came through. Definitely like it. Um, so we will go ahead and end it here, I guess. Um, if there's any other restaurants and stuff like that you guys want us to try mm -hmm. through the weeks, so we'll be, we should actually try some new ones. Yep. Um, this is everything we could think of was Marie Callender, Cracker Barrel. I mean, what else have we not tried? Well, we haven't done a Golden Corral video. Oh, no. You guys, we, we went to Golden have, Corral. Probably shouldn't have mentioned that. Yeah. We went to Golden Corral during like rush hour one day. Yeah, we did not have a good experience. There. No. <laughs> But we could do a video there. I don't know. And you could take stuff to go. You so can. we could take it. We can order stuff and then just bring it here and try it. We can. We might try it. Okay, maybe. We'll we we'll have to, we'll have to do a redemption video. <laughs> Not even a real one because <laughs> the real one didn't go. Well. I think it depends on the time of day. People are probably gonna ask what happened at Golden Corral. Well, yeah. It just really quick. It was it was just really like messy. Like everything was just yeah. Their salad bar. They had frozen items still That's from the right. salad bar. A lot of their food was cold. Yeah. For some reason. And then, the, yeah. yeah, cold. It was cold. It and was then the cold. stations were not clean. So there was cake everywhere, mashed mm. potatoes everywhere, you know, that kind of thing. But, yep, exactly. Um, and then, yeah, and so again, it was cold and frozen. So yeah. we didn't have the best experience. But That's true. If you want us to go back, give it another try. Maybe go a different time of day. Exactly. Maybe we'll video that. So. I know. Maybe we should video it. Yeah. I feel like we should. Okay, you guys. We All love right, you guys. so, 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 so much. And we'll catch you next and time. And we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Peace. Mm -hmm. Peace out, Trouts.